Welcome back once again. In this part, we will retype our expense data inside our dashboard fragment. So for doing this, first we need to create a new class. So for expense data, and we can call a new class. So public static class expense view holder and it's going to be extends recycler view dot view holder and create a constructor. Now we need to create our view, view class. So view is going to be m expense view. And now this and now this m expense view is equal to item view. Now public void set expense type. And we need to add a string is going to be type. And for text view m type is equal to m expense view dot find view by id r dot id dot and we can add our id name type expense ds and now we need to set it so m type dot set text is going to be type and for public void set expense amount and integer amount and text view m amount is equal to my expense view dot find view by id r dot id dot amount expense ds m amount dot set text is going to be amount and before that we need to change it to string so string str amount is going to be string dot value of we can change it to amount and now we need to set this str amount inside our m amount text view now all done now we need to create one more method for our date I think we added all this thing and now we need to create a firebase recycler adapter inside our honest method data and this time this class is expense beholder and we can create an object we can call it expense adapter and it's going to be new recycle firebase recycler adapter and we need to add firebase recycler adapter and now we need to add in here we need to add our modeling class name so data dot class and we need to add a layout so r dot so we need to add uh, we need to add our layout so r dot layout dot dashboard expense and now we need to add our dashboard fragment dot expense view holder dot class and in here we need to add our database name that is our m expense database now this view holder dot set expense type is going to be model dot get type view holder dot set expense amount is going to be model dot get amount and we need to create one more method for our date so public void set expense date string date and now add to a text view is going to be m date is equal to m expense view dot find view by id r dot id dot expense r dot id dot that expense ds and m date dot set text is going to be this date And now this view holder dot set expense debt is going to be model dot get debt. So we set all this data now. Inside our m recycler expense, we need to set this adapter. So m recycler expense dot set adapter is going to be expense recycler expense adapter. So we added this. So I think we added all this required field and now i think we can so now we need to add keep sync true for our expense database so keep sync true and run this application now we can see our dashboard fragment and inside this dashboard fragment we can see our income and expense and we can scroll 
particularly for our recycler view and we can horizontally score our expense and recycler data that was the important thing that we want to do here and if we want to scroll and now you can see we can scroll and for expense and we can also scroll our data so if we see in expense we can see our data so that i want to show in this part how can we how can we show our recycler data and how can we do it as scroll as horizontally now if we delete one data then we can see from our dashboard fragment our data is also deleted so we just delete one data from our income database so we successfully retrieve our data so when we delete it maybe you notice that our total summation is minus from our income so if we click here from income then we can see we are now in income dashboard so our dashboard fragment is working now let's add some more data so we can add some amount and we can add 70,000 and we can call it job and in here we can add got salary just add text just for example we can call it got payment got payment and save now we can see our new data is added and we can it and we can scroll it horizontally let's set one more data so 8800 more and add a type and we can we can call it business and now we need to add a note and we can call it got profit we can say got profit and save so now we can see one more note one more data and we can scroll it horizontally and our total income is increased so that is the main thing that we want to that i want to show you here so we can retype our data and we can set it horizontally inside our card view so i think we learn a lot of things in this part and in this section You just need to follow step by step what I am doing here and then you will learn a lot of things after complete this application and later you will be able to build your own application and you can design and you can customize your application by yourself. So that is very important to learn it and keep watching and follow step by step. So we successfully retrieve all this income and expense data and we already solve our we already solve our update and delete option from here and still we need to work on this application maybe we need to add just logout part and after that this application will complete and this application will going to be your fully functional complete application that you will be able to upload on your google play store account so i hope you enjoy this course